Uh, yes, I mean, um, still speeches about it, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, after that ACL from, uh, you know, from last year, and I just, just never thought it's going to be uh, another injury like this, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a tough one, but, um, you know, like, I always came back from big injuries, and, uh, and uh, I know I'm going to do it, and so it's, but it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely it. Marco, did anything that could have been doing a lot? What do you remember of the, uh, of the, of the incident? Yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> I tried to hit it in, and it's, it happened right away when I uh, started to push it from my right leg to hit him. I got caught or something like that, and I know my, my knee twisted just, just a little bit, and, uh, and I could hear right away the big pop, and uh, I heard it again uh, before, and I knew it right away. Um, it's going to be the same thing. Like, uh, After you went down, is that the, maybe the lowest point in your career so far after going down like that? Uh, probably, yeah. I mean, um, you know, like I said, uh, even last year with us, you know, same kind of injury. Um, but this one hit me the most definitely. Um, it's just unexpected, um, too fast after I, had, you know, after I came back. And, uh, and it's playoffs too. I mean, you always want to you want to play in the playoffs. That's why you play. And uh, yeah, that was uh, that could be it. You have to be a little cautious, or do you just have to be more assertive? Because when you guys were assertive, you caused a lot of turns. Play hard, and focus. Always in the right position when, when we do put pressure on him. And you know, just have to be there. And if you don't see four come back, then you can't really catch. <laughs> so you just gotta read the situation and uh, where the puck is. If you can actually get to it, then you can it. If you can't, then there's no use pitching. If they're just gonna chip it by you and get like a three on two scoring opportunity. So you just gotta judge uh, how the play is going. Well, there was nine goals, and a lot of the reasoning was because whatever team was successful on the pinch yeah. caused some turnovers. So do you think you see more of that, or do you try to maybe analyze that a little bit uh, better? I think you'll probably see the same amount, to be honest. Uh, it, it helps out to keep the puck in, the, in uh, the offensive zone for either team. And you know, if, we, if we can chip it by their forwards and get a lot of it's just going to help us out. And, uh, you know, Looks like a chance for Mark Stewart to be back. And what does he add to you? Uh, a tough, 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 defense, defenseman. You know, he can like also you know, get shots through for us. So, you know, if, whenever he comes back, you know, he'll definitely help us for sure. Uh, tough doesn't hurt when you go against that lineup, does it? No, it doesn't. Great to see them. You played with both of them. You know we're both in the Yeah, they're both. Uh, both Good leaders, intense individuals on the ice. Uh, definitely work hard and battle hard. And, uh, I guess that's shown. So, uh, obviously, one's a foot taller than the other, so it <laughs> looks like a mismatch, but Rex can handle himself. He had said to me uh, before the season that one of his goals was to do that, just to kind of get under Brian's skin. And I don't promise to Brian for one. Is that possible? You played with him. No, I don't. When I played with him, Ron was uh, kind of the same player every night. He was mean, uh, borderline mean, how bad he is. So um, that, that's the way he plays. It doesn't matter who you are. It's, uh, it's like that pretty much every night. So uh, we expect it, and obviously it doesn't disappoint. 
option. Quite honestly, uh, I, I think they're pretty similar. You know, I think uh, I think in the Buffalo series, they definitely have some guys that, that are really good at agitating. And uh, I think they, they did a good job of getting under, under our skin a few times. And, um, you know, I think every team has players like that that, that can get under the other team's skin. And uh, that's what they're really good at doing. And um, for us, you know, we got to be smart enough to know that that's what they're doing. It's nothing, nothing more than that. You know, be mad enough to walk away and, uh, you know, live a fight another day. And, and, and uh, <laughs> it's under your skin. I'm just looking at your neck here. It's kind of on your skin too. These scratch marks kind of uh, par for the course. Well, that's the way it goes. You know, you're gonna have uh, some odd bumps and bruises this time of year, and uh, you know, it's all part of playoff hockey. So it's if you don't come out of the game feeling uh, banged up a little bit, then you probably didn't do a good enough job. And uh, you know, it feels pretty good this time of year to, to come out of a game. Feeling a little worn out and then hopefully getting a win. And it appears you'll switch lines and everybody's got to make adjustments with uh, Marco Howard. Yeah, uh, you know, we switch lines quite a bit, so it's nothing new. Um, everyone's played with everyone, so uh, you know, our, our game plan is to play four lines. Um, you know, try to get the ice time spread around as good as possible, and we've been fortunate to have good depth, uh, not just this year but last year as well. So it's something that, that, that we're used to, and something where you know, we need four lines contributing because uh, it's part of our game. And it's what makes us successful. Is that one of the things, like in the last seven weeks or so, that's sort of defined this team? Is the ability to sort of step up when guys have gone down, and now you're getting production not just from one line but from multiple lines? Yeah, um, you know, goal scoring is huge this time of year. I think we, we've had guys step up and and uh, the great thing about it is we have guys too that, that aren't putting the puck in the net that are certainly more than capable of doing so so um you gotta be able to pick each other up, you know. When one one uh, one group of guys maybe isn't isn't putting the puck on the net, you need another group to go. And when they start uh, maybe getting a little bit dry, they need the other guys to get going. And that's uh, that's how you keep uh, sustained success this time of year is uh, is by picking each other up. And I think we've done a great job of doing that, not just offensively but all over the ice. Always come along well. We mentioned it was kind of a delicate kind of a injury or situation that uh, could go either way quickly. And uh, you know we're hoping for the best. Right now things are, are obviously looking more on the positive side, but uh, uh, we'll stay realistic here and, and take it day by day. And hopefully uh, he'll be back soon. And uh, if he is, it'd be a good help for a hockey club. Is there is there a possibility he could play in the series? Is that still out there at all? The, the, I wouldn't write that off. But again, like I said, you know things can change quickly in this situation, guys. So uh, you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself here by making. Uh, a comment that's going to backfire the next day. So it, it's one of those situations that uh, we hope is going to continue to go in the right direction, and, and but at the same time could go the other way too. Hi, Flo Dust, Scott Sullivan, of ABC, TV in Boston. Um, a lot of these games, it seems, in the playoffs have been back and forth, up and down, really exciting to to watch, and the fans are loving it. You, as a coach, do you enjoy seeing this back and forth action like this go crazy? Would you rather see it kind of slow down and be a little more defensive, more like regular season? As long as we win, I'm okay with that. Uh, no, it's just one of those situations. It is what it is, and you know, it's been back and forth. We've been down by a couple of goals in the other series, and we climbed back into it. It's playoff hockey. I think you, you know, if we're going to sell this game and sell it right, you got to make it exciting, and uh, it doesn't mean uh, you have to be sloppy or you know. Uh, not not good in your, in your system, but at the same time, uh, everybody's uh, put it up a notch uh, for the playoffs, and it's made for some great comebacks and some great uh, great games and close games and overtime. So, you know, again, we're here because we're playing well enough, and we just got to continue doing.